All right, guys. So we uh, I had a skunk the other day uh, that I saw, and then uh, yesterday we went out to the coop to shut the coop up, and there's a skunk in the run. Uh, then I seen him today running around the yard. So I'm gonna start setting a trap, see if I can get him. I don't really think that he's gonna do anything to the chickens. Um, he's more probably after the eggs maybe. And I shut the chickens up at night. So, but the chickens weren't even up when he went in the run. They, it, it was still like a little bit before nine o'clock. So, and we've got something over here. I set a trap last night with uh, uh, some cat food. And there's something in there, so we're gonna go look and see. I think it's a raccoon, though. They're pretty easy to catch. Really, skunks are pretty easy to catch, too. Possums. Leslie swears up and down she saw a, a fox out here yesterday. That'd be a big worry for me. That's the worst case scenario is a fox. They were small. Well, it's definitely not a skunk. We can be thankful for that, I guess, kind of. I don't think it's a skunk. Nope. Oh, we got two of them. <laughs> two raccoons. The baby raccoons. Little bitty things. Where's your mama at? We're gonna have to catch her too. <sighs> You've been over here trying to eat my chickens. We've lost three baby chickens, but the two were at night. So I'm thinking probably, probably raccoon. <sighs> or, you know, even a cat to get them but the third one was one of our big baby chickens and it grabbed it in the middle of the day because they could get outside the fence like I was telling you on my last videos I told the girls they need to leave them shut up but they wouldn't do it So, hey, I caught some. You want to go over and look? Raccoons. He was right there. So I'll probably end up catching him. I keep trapping like this eventually. I might catch about 10 raccoons first. What's going on, guys? You doing all right? What's up, Cluck? Look, he's ready. Ready for action. The fox is really concerned, though, because they they mess around here in the nighttime. Look, it's like he's looking around, making sure the coast is clear before he lets him out. Because if there's a fox out here, they're looking to get him in the middle of the day, and then they, they can, obviously, get my full-size chickens and this little six foot chain link fence I mean that's probably not gonna stop a fox might deter them a little bit I guess but that's the bad thing you know about is that chicken poop hey, that's a big chicken poop there's a, that's the bad thing about, uh, what was I saying? About foxes. Is that they'll, uh, they'll come in the middle of the daytime when I got the chickens out. <sighs> How's everybody doing today? You guys doing alright? Huh? Yeah? 
Everybody good? But that it was one of these guys, one of my white ones too. They're pretty. That's too bad. But uh, just gone without a trace. I couldn't find. I couldn't see anything. No feathers or nothing anywhere. I thought maybe a hawk, which is possible. But you know, for the most part, they were sticking to the fence to the woods back here, even when they did get out. And like I was showing you on the, one of my videos, they kind of come over here, but I don't know. But the bad thing, that's, that's what I was saying, the bad thing is once they get a hold of one of your baby chicks and they eat them, and they're just going to keep coming back, they, they found the food source, you know, so it's going to keep coming. So we're going to have to start trapping, relocating. I mean, that's that's all you can do. So I'm going to keep setting up the live trap and finding a good safe place to dump these guys. I'm going to move you guys out, out of the sun here. Because as soon as the sun comes up, you guys are going to get blasted and probably end up dying. Don't bite me. Oh, they're adorable. Don't do it. Don't. Don't go for my hand. Maybe we can get some pet, pet raccoons. It's probably legal. I gotta dump them somewhere, but I can't do it right now. If I leave them over there, then they'll be like, the sun will just cook them over there. Just go right now, the so stupid. Look, they're so tiny. I bet there's more of them. Yeah. Just go right now. They kind of feel bad because they're just kind of baby raccoons, but. I can't have you eat my chickens, bro. I'll catch your mama and dump you in the same place. Maybe you'll find each other again. back we got them dumped off and we're driving back we're about a half mile from my house now i think we found our our buddy he's uh he's not looking so good so i don't think we're gonna have to worry about the skunk anymore i mean we're like we're not even a half mile from my house we're like five six houses down I'd say that's probably him. Anybody who's interested in seeing the, the jungle still progressing uh, well. <laughs> uh, that is dense. And you see it's growing up my sunflower. See it? It's grabbing my sunflower. I'm just going to let it do its own thing there. See what happens. my oh it's trying to grab my pea or my green bean i don't know if i, I want that no let go yeah the hell with it i think these are i just filled these up you can see they're still doing good but i just put 10 gallons i mixed up 10 gallons of nutrients in here and you can see it's still Still needs another 10 gallons, probably. I just did that a couple days ago. This thing's taking like 15 gallons of nutrients 
a week, I'd say at least. But uh, I don't have to clean it out, I guess, for the life of the plant, because it's there's no uh, nothing building up underneath, no algae or nothing. So just keep uh, letting it run down the nutrient level a little bit, and then fill it back up. See what happens. I thought maybe some. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe you guys might be interested. Alright, so we got our raccoons dumped. I think we're going to have to not worry about our... I don't think we're going to have to worry about our skunk who's been hanging around. I think he's roadkill up there. So now if it was indeed a fox, I guess that's all we have to worry about, but it's something quite big to worry about because foxes are really hard to trap. So I'll just keep setting it and see what happens, but I don't, I don't think you're going to catch a fox in a live trap. <sighs> and uh, like I said, they like to hunt in the daytime, so that's also a concern. Come on, girls. Doing all right? Everybody's all right? Yep. Everybody's all right over here for right now. Need some water. But you can see the, the freaking huge mess. I just don't know. I don't know if the chickens are doing that. I don't see them do it. But maybe they are. I'll be interested to see what happens when I switch back to the uh, um, from the crumbles to the uh, pellets because it's ne they've never done this before. So I don't think it's the chickens I'm digging all through there. It's probably raccoons. What I'm guessing. I think that's going to be about it for this one. Appreciate everybody watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.